What is up guys? Welcome back to another video and I promise this is not clickbait. This is a dual GPU running PC and it's pretty crazy this tech that allows you to do it and you could literally do it for seven dollars. There's someone watching here right now probably on the PC that they're on. You could do this on there and the only prerequisite to not only double your frames even get a higher resolution is having this particular type of PC, having two GPUs and spending $7 on lossless scaling. Let me show you the hardware we are using today to do this. And it is something you've seen in the channel before. It is my 6600 XT that's tied to a 5700U. And this little behemoth of a machine, um, I, you'll probably notice it looks different. If you watch the shorts, we did some modification to it. It's called Bespoke now, because it's a one of one thing. And I think it's a cool name and I think it looks pretty dang cool. So 6600 XT over Oculink attached to a mini PC, uh, which is running a Ryzen 7 5700U. And you're probably thinking there's only one GPU here. No, there's two. There's a GPU right here, the 6600 XT, and the Ryzen 750 700U has an APU with it. So it has its own graphics card. And I'm gonna show you how to use both together for really in insane performance. Real quick caveat. This is lossless scaling. You can get this on Steam. It's $7. It's really inexpensive, if you ask me, uh, and it's worth every single penny worth every single penny. There's a quick caveat that you need to do before you do any of this. And it's a little bit of a hurdle and I am too scared to try to replicate it again, but I will in a next video on how to replicate this, is you need both graphics cards running at the exact same time. So you'll see here in device manager under display adapters, we have not only the AMD RX 6600 XT, but we also have the AMD Radeon TM graphics card. That's the APU graphics card. And real quick, you'll notice that nothing's plugged into the graphics card here. Um, it's attached to the mini PC right there over HDMI. You'll see a display port, but that's not what we're using. We're using the HDMI that's attached to here. So that's a prerequisite. I haven't been able to replicate it quite yet, um, but it is possible if I'm able to do it. So I've seen other people on the internet be able to do it. It is possible. Once I figure out a for sure way to do it, I will show you guys how to do it. So you need, this is a prerequisite. It has, you have to have both running at the same time and you have to have the HDMI or display port coming from the PC motherboard, not from the graphics card. Cause um, this one is gonna be doing the rendering. So basically what's happening right now is whatever image the 6600 XT is generating is going through the CPU into through its HDMI port and that's how we're, we're able to do what we're doing. This needs to happen. Secondly, under system display graphics right here, uh, you need to make sure that every time you turn something on, it's running the 6600 XT. So right here, this is Monster Hunter Wild, specific GPU, AMD, Radeon, that's the APU. You want it to be running 6600 XT. So you might have to manually change this on every single one, but once you change it once, you're good to go. For this example, we're gonna use Helldivers 2. This game is brutal on a system because of the CPU bottleneck. So I want you to take a look at our graphics settings. Right now we're at ultra, everything is on high, highest presets possible. Um, we're also not using any, we're not using any render scaling. And you can see here we're using the 6600 XT um, and we're at 1440p. So we're maxing out the settings right now. And right now you can barely see it right there top left hand corner, we're at 38, 39 frames here on the ship. Looking around, you can see it, it is choppy. Sub 60 in this game is definitely unplayable if you ask me. But thanks to loss of scaling, we can go ahead and do frame generation. Some games have this already. Helldivers 2 doesn't have it, but loss of scaling allows us to do frame generation. We're not doing any upscaling, just frame generation. So right now we're gonna scale, right now we're tied to the 6600 XT, which is doing the frame generation. 
um, and doing the, the making uh, playing the game, the rasterize image of the game as well. So it's doing both jobs. We're gonna hit scale and just click back onto the screen, and then you'll notice flicker. Boom, and now you'll look at the top left hand corner. We'll see original frames and then generated frames on the left. So we got 30 frames originally and then 60 generated frames. And you can see this right here. It's a lot smoother than before. You do see some ghosting from the frame generation or like a little, you know, uh, I like to call it like a kind of a marshmallow effect that you get from frame generation, but it makes it a lot smoother gameplay. Okay, so we're getting 60 frames. Here's what makes it a dual GPU system. So I'm gonna go back to lossless scaling. We're gonna unscale it and then round down here in the bottom right hand corner, corner down here on the bottom right hand corner where it says GPU display. We're gonna click here and we're gonna switch it from the 6600 XT to the APU. And then we're gonna hit scale now. Now we're gonna wait for it to flicker. Boom, flicker. Now look at the top left hand corner. We went from 60 frames frame generation to 71. We still have a slight ghosting effect or the marshmallow effect, but it's to my eye, it's not as apparent as before. And remember with this frame generation, it is uh, machine learning. So it will get better over time the more you play uh, from what I understand of it. And, but we're getting an extra 12 frames just because rather than using the 6600 XT to do the frame generating, it can just focus on the just generating frames for the game. And then now the APU can do the frame generation. Obviously, if this was a more powerful APU, it would it would generate more frames. But this is just the tip of the iceberg. We haven't even used any type of upscaling yet. Um, so I just really want to showcase that. And I'm going to do one more game for you guys to showcase. Power World is so CPU heavy. It's insane. So we are in the graphic settings. We're epic. 1440p. Everything's maxed out. Uh, we have a max frames of 60 FPS, uh, and we're not even gonna get any clear close to that. We're just gonna load in, and it's gonna be choppy. All right, so you can barely see uh, the frames because of this dang Windows thing. Um, 40, right now we're getting 41, 41 frames. Uh, you'll be able to see it once we turn on lossless scaling a lot better, but we're epic. This game looks great, but man, the frame rate sucks in this game, and I chose the base because you can see in the base there's there's a lot of things going on. So let's get over, over here to the lossless, lossless scaling. And then we're gonna do the 6600 XT first. And there we go, we will from, let me see, it. there you go, you can see it now. From 40 frames to 66 frames uh, here in the base. Um, let's see, yeah, 68, 67. So mid to, mid, mid 60s, we're holding right here in the base. And this is the worst place to be in the base. And now we'll switch back to using the APU to do to do the frame generation. And we're gonna go here, unscale, scale, and it's that easy. It's literally that easy. And now we're getting 74 frames, 71 frames, 75, uh, 77 there. We're, we're getting uh, quite a bit more frames um, just because we're on offloading the frame generation to the APU and not the graphics card. This is why it's a dual GPU system. This is like the greatest thing I've ever seen in a long time in the PC world. This is amazing. And then I wanna show you one more thing that you can do here, which is probably gonna give you the best experience. So we're getting about 74 frames right now. One of the best things, if you're doing something like this that I found in my testing that is really, really cool, and I think everyone should be doing, is we're on epic settings. Everything's epic 1440p, which is insane in this game. Even my main rig has a hard time doing this. What we're gonna do is we're gonna lock the frames to 60 frames. That's all we're gonna do. We're gonna lock it, I mean, sorry. We're gonna lock the frames to 30. And now we're gonna get a smooth, we should get a smooth 60 frames as we play. Because if you lock it to 30, there's gonna be less frame fluctuation, less less dri dips from between like 40 to uh, mid 30s. So you're just gonna get a smoother gameplay experience. So we're getting a lock 60 right now with a 6600 XT, uh, which is a third, uh, three generations old, is it three generations old graphics card now? And we're getting 1440p, 60 frames, epic settings right now, lock 60. 
here in Power World. This type of tech right now with loss of scaling, this $7 purchase can make your rig currently that you're on the, is probably outdated, last another two, four years, easy, easy. Like right now, my 3090 down here, it's not a 3090 no more. It is, it is as good as a, what, a 4080? I think a 4070 Ti is beats out this thing. And we're on a new generation. So this thing is like, you know, old in the tooth, but it's a good system still. But you know, there are a lot of demanding games like Monster Hunter Wilds that this thing is getting its ass beat on. And yeah, that's it guys. Um, I'm planning to play around with this quite a bit more, see how much more I can push it. I think this is really awesome tech. And if you haven't tried out Lossa scaling yet, I highly, highly recommend it. And I'm not paid by them. I bought it with my own money. I can, it's just a good way to get a lot more out of your system. There's no need to upgrade to a new GPU into a new platform with this new tech because the way games from what I can tell are moving in the direction where frame generation is already needed. Um, like Monster Hunter Wilds, for example, that game is out of the gate, in my opinion, is supposed to be running with frame generation. Um, and especially on, you know, PC, it's a, it's a, it's a brutal thing on even high end rigs. Uh, but yeah, uh, stay tuned. I'm going to probably come up with some more content with this stuff. I'm going to try to figure out how a foolproof way to turn on both the graphics card and the APU at the same time. And also, which I'm really super excited about is I'm actually gonna throw in another GPU to the main rig. Unfortunately, we don't have another 16 slot, uh, but wouldn't matter because most uh, motherboards, 16 slots are X1s, but there are two M.2 ports and your boy knows about M.2 to PCI X16. So we're gonna actually go ahead and I'm gonna do, we're gonna throw this RX 6400 on there and we're gonna have this thing doing the frame generation for the 3090 and that way we can offload any type of, you know, extra load off the 3090 and put it on this RX 6400. So stay tuned for that video. Um, also, I redid the water loop, if you guys remember. We added a crap ton of 90s which made getting the bubbles out atrocious but i think it looks a lot better we got a little kakashi pikachu we also have an extra uh nozzle here for drainage um it was necessary i think it looks a lot better but other than that guys um thanks for watching um i'll catch you on the next one